All right, so while I was at the dealer, uh, you know, I got these. I also got a new blade for the Toro mower. Um, so back to this. Uh, so I bought one of the bigger uh, fuel filters just to see, maybe. And then I got the grommets for the tank uh, because I don't know what's going on. I just feel like maybe I should change those and it might help something. But I also noticed this. Uh, let me grab a flashlight here. So this is what I noticed here, okay? <clears throat> so y'all know I've been having the issue with uh, this stupid thing leaking or, uh, you know, hesitating. So if you look, I had a guy tell me, he said, hey, I want you to check this out. And I said, okay, so here I am checking this out. Uh, and th sure enough, this is, this is what I found. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyway, uh, so you got the fuel pump here. Okay. <clears throat> fuel pump. Get gracious. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, hose. Okay. So you got the fuel pump there where this hose goes into. You look at this bottom line right here. This is what I want you to look, be looking at is this bottom line right here where my finger is at right there. Okay. Now, if you look at that, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that is not on all the way and the clamp is not even on there uh, like it should be. So, I was told this may be my problem and to check it. Well, I checked it and uh, sure enough, that is not where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to put this back on there the way it goes and then I'm going to put these grommets here on the uh, top of the fuel tank. I'm going to check the fuel filter in the tank or the little screen on it as well. And uh, I almost thought about buying a new gas cap, but I think, hopefully, this might be my issue with the hitting bolt, uh, hitting bumps when it's hot and it spits and sputters. Cause I can run this mower all day when it's cool outside, never have an issue. As soon as it gets 80 with high humidity or 85, you know, heat uh, and gets kind of hot outside, that's when it starts doing it. And uh, it only does it when it's hot outside. Not the mower being hot. I can run the mower all day and never have an issue. Only when it's hot outside. So I was told that that line was what I needed to check. And I checked it and that's what I found. So I'm gonna replace that uh, and I'm gonna replace these grommets on the tank as well. And we'll see if that helps with my issue. Hopefully it does, because if not, uh, then I'm gonna start replacing all of these lines as well. And uh, I'm gonna replace the fuel solenoid um, also. So anyway, I'm gonna get this, uh, this new line put on. I'm gonna get this new filter put on and I'm gonna get this tank garments put on. And then I'm done with this thing. We're gonna pull this out and replace these grommets right here. And uh, I'm gonna also pull this completely out and see if there's anything on that filter as well. All right, so this is pretty easy. No matter how full it is, you just slide this out. But ah, uh, sits down in there. Then this is for my, this one goes to my, so this is my uh, one that's just my fuel thing. Just pull this out. Could just come right out actually but uh, there we go and as you can tell this one was <clears throat> I, now i don't know if i just did this but uh i'm gonna clean this up as well but as you can tell that is busted i don't know if i did that or not but we're gonna clean this up and put uh, a new one in there a grommet a new grommet <clears throat> open this up Put it in there i mean maybe i don't know if that I, I doubt it but you never know you know what i mean so uh yeah put this one down in here like so ta-da and then this one we'll pull out as well now then there's that let's uh let's try to clean this up a little bit without getting that down in the tank like that I'm going to pull this out and there is a screen on the bottom of this and it looks fairly clean honestly so I don't think I'm going to have to 
worry about that too much, but I don't know. Uh, see, this grommet is not busted at all. So anyway, um, we're gonna put a new one on it regardless. Probably would have been easier to just do it the other way. Put it in first. Sounds like the better plan. All right, now, then we're in. Let's uh, make sure this thing, this thing looks clean as all get out. Looks pretty clean. All right, now we put this back in. Slide that down through there. And uh, yeah, that's how it looks. So all the way down. And then we'll put this on like that. Then twist it a little bit. Put this, and now we push this down. And that's gonna lock this bad boy into place just like that. Now, no more movement out of that. Now, let's uh, put this other piece here back on, which is right here. <clears throat> we wanna make sure that we got good. So that uh, made the, the noise out of the filter, or out of the thing there. So I think that'll be fine. All right, let's push this down in here. <clears throat> Probably should have left this out so I could have got to that. So, yeah, yeah, I'll leave this one out because uh, I need to get to that. So we'll just undo this part right here. Push this down in there. Come on, baby, nice and easy. There we go, all right. That could have been my problem too, is that. So you never know with these things. But the good thing about the Toro is you can take the whole tank completely off, set it down, not have to worry about nothing. So now easy access. This is how I changed my hydraulic fluid and stuff, if you remember. Uh, but let's uh, go ahead and change the fuel filter here. And then I'll get to this right here, this uh, piece that is loose that I think is the other part of my problem. But I think that could have done it too because uh, yeah, that definitely is torn. But I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if I did that pulling it out or if it was already like that because the other one came out and it was not like that. So uh, I don't know, I guess we'll find out, huh? For as cheap as they are, it don't hurt. So this part's probably just a shot in the dark anyway but i'm still going to do it um just to see i mean what i change it every 50 hours anyway when i change the oil <clears throat> but yeah so uh just to see if it does any different i'm just going to go ahead change it and uh not worry about it i'll just figure that is the better way to do it. And you know, fuel filters are dummy proof. Fuel comes through here, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's get this thing whoop, twisted and pulled out. Just like that. Right there. <clears throat> now we'll put our new one on. Arrow, can't mess that up. I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be kind of weird, awkward, I guess if you did. Anyway, uh, all right, put this back on. Clamp up. Say clamp up, clamp up. Ooh. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna leave that out of the way because, well, <clears throat> now I gotta fix this hose back here. So. That's what I really want to get into and see uh, with a flashlight, what's going on with that. Because I got a, another hose here uh, to fix that. Hopefully it's long enough, I guess we'll find out. And uh, yeah, so let's check this thing out and see how rough that's gonna be. But just wanted to put a new filter on it. See if that might, you know, help any, I don't know. Something, you know, with that grommet being broke that, uh, was pointed out to me, you know, when I checked it out and like I said, it, it has been messed up, 
or it is messed up. So we're gonna fix that. And I mean, hopefully this issue I've got goes away because it used to not ever do it whatsoever. So uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, well, I finally got that stupid thing done. Oh my goodness, talk about a pain to get that. Uh... <sighs> anyway, let's put the tank back in, uh, start it up, put some fuel to it, make sure it starts and runs. But uh, we got new grommets and everything anyway, new fuel filter, and uh, yeah, so let's throw this tank in here, hook these lines back up, and see what happens. Put all this back together. All right, so we got this. So this is our air line, and here's our fuel line so go ahead and move them out that's where we're gonna go anyway i feel like there was oh well, there was nothing on this apparently that's weird to me how there's nothing on it i mean i guess that's pretty hard to get off <clears throat> but it's amazing there's no clamp or nothing on this Especially with that <clears throat> like that's just awkward right, got that, 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 that. And there, make sure nothing crunches anything make sure they stay loose good good double check up front here make sure that's good right. Yep, okay. Make sure this one's good here. Oh, scrunched it. I crunched it. There we go. Now it's out of the way. Freeze. Move it. Check. All right. That's on. Let's put some uh, fuel to it. Put the fuel knob on here. That air out of the way. That's good. That's good. That's good now. All right. Let's put this back together. Now we got a new tensioner, new belt, new. New grommets for the tank, new fuel filter, even though I don't think the fuel filter had anything to do with it whatsoever. Figured I'd still put that in there. <clears throat> Just to see, I mean, what can it hurt? Nothing. Uh, I've got a new clutch because the clutch went out on it. That was 700 and something dollars. Well, anyway, while they were at that, I told them to, uh, I had them check the, uh, the crap. I had them check the uh, intake, make sure that it was good to go. As well. And yeah. Alrighty, tighten this up. I'll just put this on like two, because <clears throat> you don't need much. Tighten these, probably use a one, but. Let's see what a one does. I think I'll probably use a one on this. Get away with it. Yep. Back up, drop this back in there, put these in, put this one in, tighten these things back.
and toddly da. Now let's uh, move all these tools out of the way. See if it runs. Here goes nothing, I guess, huh? Wish this had like a thing like uh, the, you know, where it turned the fuel on. But anyway, here we go. Well, no leaks. That's always a good thing, right? <coughs> and here we go with this crap again. Like I don't feel like I should have to choke this when I just turned it off. hallelujah at least we're back up and running uh only time will tell especially with that missing that spitting and sputtering crap that was going on if it's fixed or not but uh yeah so let's let's end it uh actually i've got one more thing for you here oh no let's just end it i'll tell you in a future uh video so all right guys that's gonna do it uh, if you have any suggestions to look at for this, let me know because I've did almost everything to it. So yeah, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Danny. I will see you in the next one.